Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangle Skeins Crafter. Um, this is my March wrap of April plans video. Um, I did not do any of the challenges or anything like that that I had been doing for March and I don't have any really set plans for April but I know kind of what I want to do, what I want to work on. I'm starting to get my stitchy bug back. Let me show you what I've worked on. So if you watched my February, whoops, I don't know if you heard that, I dropped my phone. Um, if you watched my February wrap up, then you'll know that I just had a few that I wanted to start this month, but that I didn't have like any set plans or anything. And I think I managed to start all of them. I was kind of skimming through my video while ago to see, cause I don't even think I wrote them down anywhere. I did not do a lot of stitching, but I did do some. Let's see if this has a picture so I don't... Okay. So I started her. And I think I actually worked on her a little bit more than I did some of the other ones. Which I think I only worked on maybe five things this month. But she's just so, so cute and colorful. And it just, it made me happy. And I think... I mentioned it in my last video, I was just kind of going through a little bit of a honk. Like one of my depressions had hit pretty hard. And today's April 1st, which is a bad day too, so I'm still kind of riding that wave of depression. April 1st, um, years ago, I lost one of my really close cousins to suicide. And on the same day, a gentleman that I'd known for years had had a routine surgery, got through the surgery, and then in recovery, we lost him. So it was a hard day, and then, you know, it, you know, it gets easier over the years, but it still just pops up sometimes, and my memories on April 1st, it makes me a little sad. I still have my needle stuck in my fabric. All right, so I started her to get on a little happier subjects. I started her down on the bottom and I th think you can see Put a little more light on the situation. I worked on I think three colors through here like an off-white and a couple different colors of light blue. <coughs> I think it's like snow. Yeah, I think it's just snow along the bottom, but I worked through here. I didn't count any stitches. I did a few hundred. I worked on it for a couple hours at least. And then I worked on it a little bit again another day, so, but I only picked her up twice. But I was happy with my progress. Maybe six, seven hundred stitches. I'm just working my way across the bottom. I think I'm working my way back with this blue. I'm going to try to finish filling in at least this like this little bit of snow down here. And then maybe come up and do maybe like this big chunk of her face. But I do plan on working on her some more. Soon. So she was bringing me happiness. And I need that. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to stitch this month because I, I am starting a new job. I just got hired. I think today is my official hire date. I've been doing the onboarding paperwork and stuff. Uh, it's a remote job, a telescribe. So, you, you know, you just kind of like Zoom with doctors and their patients and take notes and bring up charts and stuff. Doesn't pay a whole lot, but it's work from home and they'll save me on gas. And it's part-time. Or I could possibly go full-time. We'll see how I like it. My other job that I really enjoy is not steady enough, so I had to find something else. Okay, so this next one I wanted to start, and I did. She, I love the colors in this one. And I have, I think, a couple kits. Why is it, it's kind of blurry. Focus. I have a couple kits with a girl with long dark hair and this little creature and I've been eyeballing some more. I kind of really love the images 
And I think it's cute. It's like realistic and fantasiful. fantasiful? Is that even a word? At the same time. Fanciful. Fantastical. Listen to me try to figure out a word. Anyway. A little bit of magic in everyday life. And I like that. But I wanted to start on her. And I did. And again, I did not do much. This one I just started up in the top. Corner, and I just did a little bit of the purple. And then I sat her aside and completely forgot to pick her back up. I think I only did one color of purple so far. Because there's two together through there. It's such a pretty image, and I really enjoy working on it. I don't know why I didn't pick her back up. I just barely did anything this month. And I'm, well, last month. And I'm really hoping that changes this month. Because I had, like I said, just slight plans. Not no fixed plans, and I didn't even meet most of them. Like my diamond painting? Nope. <laughs> I think I did work on diamond painting once. Luckily, I had videos to edit. I also have a couple unboxing videos that I have not edited and uploaded yet. I think either two or three. And some of the stuff I'm showing might actually be in those unboxing videos. Which is kind of funny that you're seeing me work on it before you even see me get it. Right, here's another one I wanted to start and I did. I can't remember if I worked on this one one day or two. But I love this image. Sorry, long pause. I was trying to remember. I think I worked on it for two days. Just a little bit here and a little bit there. And this one, I also started up in the left corner. Got my needle in there. Because you could tell I was going to work on it more because I do not like to leave needles in fabric. So if the needle's still in the fabric, it means I was meant to pick it back up. I think I worked on two or maybe three. I think just two of these kind of green, grayish green colors. I was a little bit disappointed in these colors because in the image it's such a bright what is that like a teal it's a light bluish color blue green aquamarine I'm horrible with, with names and in this it's just it's so much more grayish green but But I think I'm going to like it. I mean, I don't think it's going to detract from it. I was just a little disappointed when I was working on it. I mean, I like this one because it is a little more... I mean, it's colorful, but it's more muted colors, I guess. A lot more going towards... Not neutrals exactly, but you know, it's just not... It's not real vibrant. It's pretty and it's colorful, but it's not like burn your eyes out. So as long as all of the colors continue to be just a little more muted than I expect, I think it'll be fine. But if some of them are like really bright and some of them are, you know, not what I expected, I'm going to be a little disappointed. But I will hold out hope because I have not done anywhere near enough to actually know yet. And I want to keep working on this one. I really like it. Let's see. I wanted to start my Princess Mononoke one. Because this is just one of my absolute favorite animations. One of my favorite. It's some of my favorite artwork. And I just love it. And if, if you're a regular here on my channel, you know I actually did start this one because I have a stitch with me. That I uploaded where I started it, but then after that I did not do any more, so I just started up here in the left hand corner, worked down and worked over, and I just did this kind of a cream collar. And then I put her up and didn't get her back out. A little disappointed in myself, but 
I mean, you can only do what you can do, right? And I cannot force myself to sit down and enjoy cross stitching. I mean, I either am enjoying it or I'm not. And I'm not going to make myself do something if I'm not enjoying it because it just makes everything worse. <laughs> Okay, and I think this is the last one I actually stitched on. And it was the Zelda one. And I didn't even get 100 stitches in it. I don't think I did any. I mean, I might have done some more on the bottom, but I don't think I did. And then I just flipped it over and actually started working in the right direction. And just did this top square. And I didn't quite, I ran out right before I finished that bottom row. So like 93 stitches or something is all I did on this. I just could not make myself sit and work on black. I think I was working on this while I was watching a video for school. Doing my homework. Or maybe waiting for it to upload. Because a lot of the classes I do, I have to like record a video or edit something and then upload it. Like right now I'm in a film, film editing class. So I was like, hey, I like to make YouTube videos. Maybe this will help the quality. Now I'm learning how to actually put together like films and I don't think it's actually gonna help me, but it's really interesting and I like, I like it. I like that class. All right, so that's it that I remember. I looked through my camera roll and through my videos and I think that's all I actually stitched on for the entire month, which is really quite depressing. For diamond painting, which I usually don't talk about in these, but I'm, I think I'm going to start since these are kind of short anyway, if I'm, especially if I'm not doing much. Um, for diamond painting, I think I did one section of a new start, so like an Alice in Wonderland themed. And then I think I might have edited and uploaded some of the videos I'd already recorded of one or two other projects. I did not finish the one that I was planning on finishing, so I'm going to bring that over into April and try to finish it up in April. It's just, it's one of those I just kind of lost interest in. I lost interest in everything, of course, but um, that was just, I don't know, it was a lot of the same color over and over. It's bright and cheery colors, but yeah. Um, one thing I did do and I usually don't do these. Oops, I lost her tail. Is, um, my little books fell off too. Anybody else, uh, else have these little mini books and mini bookcase? <laughs> I saw someone, I think, on TikTok, and I thought it was so cute. And of course, I'm very easily influenced. So I got me some. And some of these books are kind of cool. Some of them are actual books like Hitchhiker Guide to Galax Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and there's like a couple Harry Potters and I can't remember. And then some are just like little magazine looking ones. They're all either blank inside or they don't even open. But they look cute on the little shelf. I'm not going to leave it there because I'll knock it around. But, but yeah, I thought it was cute and it makes me happy. I'm going to have to like glue these or something because this is driving me crazy. Her little tail pops off a lot and it's, and I'm so fumble fingered it's hard for me to get it back together. But anyway, this was one if you, you might have seen it on my channel. I started doing, well this was the first and only one I've done so far, but these little bricks set, they kept popping up on Timu and I was like, Ah, I knocked her head off. Um, and I thought it was so cute. I was trying to fix that block. So I was like, let's try this. This is the Karomi. Karomi? I don't know how to say the name. I don't watch... Is it a cartoon or is it just characters? But, like, Hello Kitty? I remember Hello Kitty. But I don't know, like, uh, my melody and cinema role and all those. But... These kits are adorable. So I did one of these and I uploaded that video. And I plan on doing some more. I have several kits. Like about that size. Some smaller. And then I just got this one in, I think yesterday. Day before yesterday. 
So this one's probably going to take me a while. I don't know if I'm going to record this one or not. And I have no idea where I'm going to put it. I'm running out of space. But I'm going to work on that. And then like I said, I have like a cinema row and a my melody. And then I got some like little birds. and Words is hard for me today. Or are hard for me. Grammar apparently is really hard for me today too. But look out for those. Um, they should be popping up sometime this month. At least one more this month. I might just do one a month. I'm going to try to get back into the, my diamond painting. Like I said, I'm going to try to finish the one. It's the, the Christmas tree forest. The one with the big tree with the like Christmas baubles. Looks like it's rolling towards it. I'm going to try to finish it. I want to do at least one more section on my um, daughter's prom dress custom diamond painting. And then... I'd like to do one or two on the big, the girl with the, the book. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Color Fall Girl. I haven't worked on her in like over a month. I just haven't been, I haven't been coming in here in my craft room, in my den, my office, whatever you want to call it, in crafting. I've been doing my homework in here and then I go into my living room and just sit on the couch and watch TV use like K-dramas or C-dramas or J-dramas or Thai dramas and then um, recently I started watching this older show called Jericho that I never finished it's only got like two seasons I just started watching that again I watched a little bit more Walking Dead I think I finally finished season seven I get I got really depressed watching it when the really bad thing happened some of you will know what I'm talking about was it season six and a season five I don't even know it's, it's something that made me really sad <laughs> And I just could not watch it. So I'm trying to watch some more Walking Dead. Because I was so... I mean, you know. There's so many more seasons to watch. Anyway, as for plans. Since I've just been rambling. As for plans. This one. Um, I'll try to put a picture up. Wait, is there one on here? There's a good size one on here. I'll just use this one. But it's the um, crystal ball dragon or dragon crystal ball. I can't remember what, you know, order the words are in for this name. But I want to work some more on this one. Just like I forgot this one even existed. And then scrolling through my videos, skimming through, trying to see what I had planned to do this month. I saw that and I was like, yes, I have not picked that one up. And I really like it. So I'm going to, what? I zip that up. So y'all are just watching me lose my mind. Um, but I want to work on it some more. Finish up at least some more of this. Um, is it 939? No. What is this one? Oh, that's 310. Well, yeah. I'll just still finish up some of this black. And then maybe do some more. This is the 939. Do some of these big chunks. Something I can just... I can work on these blocks of color while I'm watching TV or something. Or reading. I can set my Kindle up and read and stitch as long as it's not the confetti. If I want to work on it, I want to work on Princess Mononoke. I want to work some more on the Zelda one. I'd like to work on the one Zelda, the big one that I have that I've showed a couple times that I haven't touched in months. Um, I want to work more on... Everything I showed you today, I want to keep. I'm going to keep on my little top tray of. I have this little rolling tray. I keep them on, some of them on, and uh, I'm going to try to work on those. And I have some more that I might start, but I have like a uh, Hogwarts snow globe. I'd like to start. I don't know. I just I'm trying not to make any set plans. I looked at the April acrostic challenge i'm thinking about maybe doing that again and it's make some money and it's like 14 projects and like just looking at it just made me tired <laughs> trying to plan and a lot of the letters are the same so i could use the same one over and over and just use that as kind of like a prompt for me not as the challenge itself but like just a prompt hey you know go stitch like an hour on something that goes with this letter or something. So I might do that. I might keep that and use it for that. But I'm not going to actually, you know, do the challenge. And then I bought the sticker book. 
in the coloring book and I uploaded one I think short or something of one of the pages I did for the sticker book and then I never did anything else with that Let's get those out so I really want this I thought it was actually quite fun Does anybody else love the smell of books and magazines? Is it just me? Anyway, I only did this one. And my hands are so shaky, it's hard for me to get the stickers exactly where they're supposed to go. But I still really enjoy doing it. And I love how it's perforated. You can tear them out if you want. But I would really like to do at least one more. Or maybe try to find time. Not try, because like I said, I'm not going to force myself to do anything, but maybe be nice to do just once one a week they're really fun or relaxing I don't know even know the word it's not like it's it's huge fun for me like I'm all excited and want to do it but I find it it's just a nice calm activity and I grew up loving stickers I had sticker books when I was a kid and it just brings me back to that and then this coloring book I started trying to color match with um, brute thinner, I don't know how to say the um, the name of the some of the color pencils I have, and I think I was getting kind of close, but it was taking me a long time. So I, I still haven't even finished doing a color match, and I need to get my Prisma colors out. But I also have the Derwent Ink Tastic ones that I was thinking about seeing if I. But I don't want to mix and match too much. Especially with the Derwent because those are the ink color pencils. I don't know. Is that how you say it? The Inktastic. So if you add water to them, it's almost like a water color. But then it dries and it's really vibrant. But I really want to do one of these. One of these pages. It was the, the setting up for it that was, it just, it got so tedious that I was like, nah. I like how they give you what they'll look like after you do them. So see how colorful and pretty they're going to be? But it's going to be fun watching it, watching it just appear on the page. So I'm going to try to at least finish color matching some of the colors and uh, I need to write down what ones were actually working. I still have them all laid out. I don't have them put up yet. It's such a mess in here. I'd like to do at least one of these. Does anybody else do these? I mean, I know one of the ladies I watch on YouTube does coloring coloring pages and stuff but does anybody else that happens across my channel do any and I just missed it or you don't post it um I think that's about it I mean like I said I'm not making any specific plans I have the few cross stitch pieces I know I want to work on a couple I might start I have diamond paintings that I want to keep working on I'm not going to start any new ones yet, I don't think, unless it's one of the small ones because I'm still thinking about bringing him out and either doing a live or just like maybe a, a whip and chat and just work on it and talk. I just never know what to talk about. I went to a concert with my daughter this weekend. Maybe I could talk about that. It was really fun because it's not a whole lot. Anyway, if you're watching this, Tell me what you want to see. Do you want me to go live and do some of these small kits or some of the bricks or coloring or anything? Or do you like what I have up? What I've been doing? Because I'm starting to feel better. I'm starting to feel a bit more myself. So I'm, I'm starting to, to want to do stuff. And like I said, I know I'm going to do at least another brick kit or two or four who knows they're kind of addictive but I'm fumble fingered um, I want to do some of those I have some unboxings look at this one aren't the birds cute I just got this in 
and another diamond painting. I might do a little unboxing. I got another cross stitch kit too. Um, I also have another collaboration coming. They said they were sending it out soon. I think it's with FG Normal. So I have a couple cross stitch kits that I'm really excited about. I've been looking at one of them for I think as long as I knew that there was stamped like really nice stamped kits. So months. I've been looking at this one for months. And I think I tried to get it from one of the sites before and it was sold out. So I'm really excited. So look forward to that unboxing. Yeah, it's FG normal. So look forward to that coming up. Um, hopefully I'll get back on more regular schedule of recording and uploading. We'll just have to see how school and work goes because full-time student, at least part-time worker, plus my book talk, my YouTube, and my K-drama addiction. It's just, when do I sleep? <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today and listening to my rambling. I feel like I've forgotten something I was either going to show or tell or talk about, you know. But I'm sure I can make another video if something else pops up. Um, like I said, sorry I haven't been posting as regularly. Feel free to comment or email me. If you ever want to, just pop up and be like, hey, I have a new video up. Go go watch it. Go like it. Go share it, you know? Because for some reason, even with the little bells clicked, lit up, you know what I'm saying, um, I'm not getting notifications sometimes when some of y'all go live or whenever you have new, new videos up. And I don't know why I'm not getting the notifications. I've checked my email. I've checked my phone. And like sometimes if I get on YouTube sometimes I'll have like 20 little notifications pop up and I'm like how come I'm not actually getting notified I used to get notified and some of them will be from like weeks ago and I'm like I'm on YouTube almost every day how come I didn't see it in the last week yet this you know this was uploaded a week ago this notification says you know seven days ago or whatever it says anyway I'm sorry that was a little rant but I do want to watch y'all's content. I want to interact with everybody. So please feel free to comment, to email. If you have my number, text me, whatever you want to do. <laughs> and let me know what you want to see. And like I said, tell me, hey, go check out my stuff. Because I like watching your stuff. <laughs> that sounds so weird. Okay, I'm going to stop rambling because this is turn this is just weird. And I probably have all kind of weird little images up here because you're just staring at a blank what is called table, the mat on my table. And the sticker in my blank notebook. Everything on my desk is so random. And I'm trying to clean it off because I have to have a clean desk for my new job clean desk and a professional background so I'm reorganizing unless they're going to send me a laptop if they're going to send me a laptop to work on then I can go into another room but that is for this is off topic again all right I'm going to stop rambling I'm going to stop with my long southern goodbye which I've heard people say northern goodbye too and I grew up in Indiana and I live in Texas so I'm a little bit of both um thank you once again I hope that you're still with me. I see that my followers are growing, but it's not showing me who are my subscribers, but it's not showing me who's subscribing. Welcome to all the new subscribers and anybody who just happens on here. I know some of you might be from, you know, people I follow or are friends with on TikTok. Um, I really appreciate y'all taking your time stop to stop by, check me out. If you want to see more book content, book reviews on here, or anything, unboxings, let me know. I do get book mail sometimes, and I think I upload most of it in my shorts. I just, I'll do it to my book talk first, my TikTok account, and then I just upload it here. If you want to see more that kind of content, let me know. And, um, okay, I really will say goodbye now. <laughs> Bye.